Hello again! I'm back! I'm really liking this thing about cooking for you guys. It's a lot of fun for me. Plus, I do it every night. The only difference is that I got my husband here recording me tonight. Anyways, um, tonight I'm gonna go healthy. For those of you health freaks who don't wanna eat carbs, I'm making lettuce wraps. Not even chicken, turkey. So I'm taking this whole thing to a whole new level. So first ingredient, of course, we got turkey. And I have tons of it, that's almost three pounds. So please forgive me when you see the quantities. Um, I think this is a really good dish to make if you wanna have leftovers, because you can just keep repeating it. Uh, I put some salt and pepper just to keep it tasty. And then as far as the other ingredients, let's go to the Asian department here. Soy sauce, I hope everybody has that at hand. Uh, sesame oil, which is delicious. And then also um, MCT oil which is like a refined version of coconut oil. Uh, I would say uh, for frying the meat, you can use anything but olive oil. Find the neutral olive oil that you have at hand because for Asian cuisine, you do not want to use olive oil. We got rice vinegar, sriracha, very important, hoisin sauce. If you don't have hoisin sauce, I'll give you an alternative, but that's a must. And a little bit of honey, onions, ginger, and garlic. These two ingredients are really good if you're trying to boost your immune system nowadays. And then we got shredded carrots, lots of them. That's about two of them, two large carrots and onion, uh, mushrooms. A little bit of salt, but be careful with the salt because whenever you have soy sauce, you already have salt on your dish. So watch out. And then last but not least, I consumed drink I was from yesterday. Mm. And it's delicious. Let's get started. So we're gonna make the sauce now. And for that we're gonna start with hoisin sauce. We're gonna pour almost a cup, three quarters of a cup of hoisin sauce. Three tablespoons of soy sauce. Six tablespoons of sriracha. Three tablespoons of rice vinegar. And one tablespoon of honey. We can also put a couple of tablespoons of sesame oil right in here. And we got our sauce all ready to go. All right, so let's get started. So as I mentioned to you, today I'm using MCT oil. Just be careful because this oil tends to burn really fast. Um, give it a little stir. There we go. I'm using this pot because this is an immersion stock top. But uh, if you have a wok, this is the time for that wok to shine. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to fry that turkey, which again, you have a choice to spice up with some salt and pepper. The reason
reason why we put this first is because we want to release any fats and any liquids and then get rid of it so that we focus on enhancing the taste of the turkey. So it's been about five minutes already and what you do is that you break all this crumble so a lot of water you see so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get rid of all of that so my sauce does not become watery okay but uh, just keep breaking the turkey as much as you can that's why I use a spatula and give it a couple of minutes more until there's no longer more pink and the turkey has been fully cooked so I already got rid of the excess of water on the turkey okay so as you can see it looks pretty much dry so the next step is to Spice it up. Okay, so time to put some fresh ingredients, such as mushrooms. What do you got? I miss my work. Remember that sauce we made not so long ago? it even further. Some people like to put chestnuts. I'm not a big fan of chestnuts. Instead, um, I use peanuts. So what you do is you put your nuts in a ziplock and with a hammer or just with your hand, you smash it and then once it is ready, into this right now, you just toss it on top to give it a crunch and a little bit more protein. Ta -da! And that's turkey lettuce wraps. All I need to do now is to assemble them. 